But on the whole conversation, I believe in bold actions. I say you get it or get relaxing. But both to some speculate about my X Factor. Here it is. I get but the little actor. I get pencil and I get pencil and I get sharp. I'm milking this food. I'll have it anyhow. My lama put it to my rap. Some make a saha. Manya. Better get mentality. Hold my neck. How did the guys part? I got sick of gas fun. I got a good to cut can can. I got a coca cup of blue eye. Before Tux became one of the pioneers of Masako genre and also been one of the best South African rappers that we have ever had in history. He started writing poems back in 1993 and he also became one of the first rappers to ever push South African hip hop sound to the world. And when I say pushing it to the world, I mean back then in South Africa, people never listened to hip hop music. They used to listen to Kwaito and house music. And this is what we'll be talking about in today's video. I'll be giving you guys the before the fame of Dumelo Kepadisa, professional known as Dukes. I hope you guys do really enjoy this video and make sure that you subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this man let's get it first in the time man. Dukes was born on the 2nd of May 1981 in Mahikeng, a city in the northwest province. Before his career took off back in 2005 with his album Mafuku Army, he started writing poems back in 1993, drawing inspiration from everyday issues in his environment. In 2005, Dukes released his album Mafuku Army, My Words in English, which is the album that got him his first summer for Best Hip Hop Award. Then in 2006, he released another project titled MC Prayer with its leading single titled Monate Twa, which was one of the biggest songs back then in South Africa. Dukes was known as the respected hip hop lyricist in South Africa during that time. After taking a two year break from music to focus on his business interest, which had him starting his own record label called June or July Productions. He came back in 2008 with his third album titled Monopoly, which was influenced by several conspiracy theory documentaries. Then in 2010, Dukes released his fourth album titled Swanello, which was the biggest album for him and it was also nominated for the 17th edition of South African Music Awards and the 2011 Metro FM Awards. In 2012, Dukes came back with his fifth album titled Footprints, which is the album that had a leading single titled Bona Fela, which is the soundtrack to the South African television drama series called Skim Sun. The album cover of the fifth album footprints was also designed by him. Then in 2016, Tux released his sixth studio album titled Bote Bote. The album consists of 19 tracks featuring various artists and he also had a successful international tour in the UK in December 2011, which resulted in him getting a collaborative song with Australian producer called M Phases and New York based singer called Lydia Caesar for the single titled Love Angel on his album Twanello, which was re-released by Next Music. Salam Raho Torara Salam Raho Kitsoro, Come on, fellow on Jolly Tati. We are out on to we just someone at Hona Le Canyon Wing, Gilega, Gilgan, Gay Pizor, but again, eh, Barre, the Radigan, Swamon, or Gaud. Jamunon Sapelo Hau Peloja Seradil Molerato, Peloja Seradil Mocarina Hau, the Raso Sanzo Sire, Tumelo Caparisa, Supo Caparisa. This is one of the biggest songs that I know from Duke Singanga, man. I hope you guys did really enjoy this video. And please make sure that you subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this, man. Also, do not forget to visit my blog to read all the news and updates about music and entertainment. And you also have a graphic designing service company. So if you need a photographer, uh, graphic designing services, a uh, web developer, we got you covered, man. Check it at messymediagroup.com. It's messymediagroup.com. We specialize with photography, graphic designing services, and web development services, man. See you guys on the next one. Peace.